What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So we did a few videos quite a while back with a car trailer that we put together. We picked it up as an old wood deck trailer and we converted it over to a steel deck and then added a windscreen. And I've gotten a bunch of comments and questions about it. So today we're gonna be towing a buddy's car up to the body shop for him. So I figured it'd be a perfect day to pull this thing out, go over it a little bit and answer some of those concerns. So let's get through the intro so that we can get hooked up and pull this thing out. All right guys, so as you've seen, we got this thing cleaned up. We're just about ready to go. Pops is feeling better, so he's gonna take the ride with us today as well and just hang out and go for the ride. But some of the things that you guys have commented about and your concerns have been this windscreen. Uh, that's been the number one topic of discussion. And as you guys can see, we tow it with my 3500 dually. So that thing really doesn't care about anything this trailer has to say. It hasn't been an issue. And as you can see, the height of the windscreen is actually still below the height of the cab. So it's not like this thing is way up here catching all the air and trying to flex back or anything. And we've got a bunch of grade eight bolts holding that thing in. So it really hasn't been a problem for us. It does have a slight curvature to it that we did on purpose. I put a couple extra washers on the ends to try to give it just a slight bit of curve. But the reason that we did that was because originally we wanted to come down with a triangle right here and kind of give this thing a little bit of lean or um, curvature to it. But we couldn't do that because with our cars, it would be right in the way of strapping it and it'd make it a pain to load and unload the cars. So that's how it ended up. It's been perfectly fine for us, but you guys are going to see it firsthand today. I'm going to mount the GoPro up there on the back window so that you guys can see this thing going down the highway. Uh, it does perfectly fine for us. And then one of the other things that you guys have been concerned about is my little battery box. I made that out of some angle iron, which you can see in the previous videos. And we just have a rope going across it right now. We will be making some sort of permanent bracket for it. We just haven't gotten around to it. So those are some of the main things. We're going to go over a few more things as the day goes on and just give our trailer an overall review because we have used it quite a bit now. It's been over a year. It's been to Pennsylvania and all over the place, really, in the Northeast mainly. But we're going to give it a fair shake today, and I will give you guys my honest opinion and our honest review of the trailer that we have put together and any things that I would do differently if we were to do it again. So let's get the truck warmed up and go for a ride. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.
Now back to your regularly scheduled program. definitely gotten smoother so let's get over to Steve so we can load up this car so I thought this was in frame but it's obviously not you're about to see the back of the truck go up the front of the trailer go up and the back of the trailer go down that is because we made some custom blocks to drive the truck up onto to help us load low cars guys so we got the car loaded up and strapped down we hooked up the winch used it for the first time and it actually worked phenomenal we do have to get a new battery so we probably will address that battery box concern you guys have and get that taken care of while we put the new battery on it but other than that we brought the jump box just in case and the winch worked perfectly with my roller design that we did when we built the windshield it's got like a double roller setup so it wouldn't get snagged on the shield and we didn't have to make a huge cutout for it so it worked out really good we've got the srt4 loaded up and we're about to head up to the body shop so let's see how this thing tows with a car on the back Alright guys, so we just got this thing dropped off up here at 88 Customs, so we're going to go ahead, load up the trailer, get everything packed away, and head back to the house.
All right guys, so we have obviously made it back to the house. I was gonna do this outro while walking around the trailer to touch on a few points, but it is windy as hell out there, so we're kind of stuck in the garage, but that gives you guys a quick sneak peek at a project that will be coming up on the channel here very soon. But with that being said, the trailer performs phenomenally. I've been super happy with it. We did add about a thousand pounds to it with all of the steel that we added, but if you run the math, our heaviest car is the Hellcat, and with the Hellcat on it plus that thousand pounds, we are still below the trailer's max weight. So everything there is perfect. I might look into doing some upgraded brakes in the future. There's still the factory trailer brakes that came with this unit and they work fine, but when you have the Hellcat on there and the extra weight, uh, luckily it's a dually 3500 truck, it stops it just fine, but they could be a little bit better. So I might look into that, but I'm not really sure because we might get a bigger trailer in the future anyways and just keep this for local and around town one car stuff. So with that being said though, everything else has worked phenomenally. The windshield has been great. We are gonna address the battery box situation. I'm gonna do some sort of either enclosed unit that's vented or we'll just make a strap when we put the new battery on there. Uh, the winch has been great as well and the windshield is perfect. I've been super happy with it. And I know that was a huge concern for a bunch of you guys, but after driving the truck a whole bunch, I even put it behind my dad's 1500 and towed it around. And between putting the windshield on, taking all the bolts out, pulling the windshield off and driving it around, uh, we didn't notice any difference. We didn't check fuel mileage with his truck, but I've towed it quite a bit and I've checked fuel mileage both ways. And it is very negligible at best. Um, I haven't been able to see a mileage decrease with the shield. So I'm gonna say it's perfectly fine. It works great for us and it definitely keeps the cars a lot cleaner when it's behind my dually. So if you guys have a trailer similar to this that you guys are considering doing this with, I would 100% recommend doing it. I like the trailer so much better how it sits. I did add the thousand pounds like I said, but it kind of helps out because when the trailer is empty, no car on it, it tows 10 times better than it ever did with just the wood deck. So we're gonna keep running it as it is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. And check us out on all the other social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And we will catch you on the next one.